Welcome to RTFR Studio. I am using a text to speech generator online. If you want to try, link is in the description. Since so many people want us to post scratch tutorial, we decided to do so. Today, I am going to show you how to show mouse X and mouse Y on scratch 3.0. Some people said they cannot see mouse X Y in scratch 3.0 but only see in 2.0. So watch this tutorial and you will know how to do it. Let's start. First open your project on Scratch 3.0. You can use online or offline version of Scratch. Here is the XY of your character, but now, we need the system to show mouse X and Y. If we want to show our mouse X and Y make a new variable, and name it to mouse X. Then, make another new variable and named to mouse Y. If you want to see the XY variable of your mouse, you need a block to show it. Drag the block in variable, set mouse X to something. Then, drag another, set mouse X to something. Then choose the mouse X to mouse Y. This is just a block which can show variables but you didn't tell it to show anything. Now, go to Sensing. And drag the block Mouse X and Mouse Y on the script area. Move Mouse X into the block set Mouse X to. Then move mouse Y into the other variable block which is set mouse Y to. You can see set mouse X to mouse X and set mouse Y to mouse Y these two blocks in the script area. This is the sensor of the mouse X and Y. This is what you use to show the variable of mouse X and Y. These blocks are to sense the XY of mouse and shown in your stage. Then. We need a forever block. So we can do the action forever. After that, grab a when flag clicked. So, when the flag was clicked, then start showing the variable of mouse X and Y. Look. You can see your mouse X and Y now. Cool. The project link is in the description below. If you want to see, press the link and get into the Scratch project, and see my coding again. If you want any tutorials or effect, comment below. Remember to subscribe our channel, so you will not miss anything of our channel. Press the non-fiction bell, like and share. This is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.